so we can start. Good morning, everyone. Welcome on the largest in the region financial technology conference, FinTech In. And let's start our FinTech journey from press conference. I'm Raminta Stanaitite Chinkmiliana, and it's my privilege and pleasure on behalf of the Ministry of Finance of the Republic of Lithuania to welcome all you here in Vilnius, one of the most desirable locations in general and for financial innovations particularly. I would like to present all speakers. Mr. Vilu Shapoka, the Minister of Finance of the Republic of Lithuania. Mr. Marius Jurgilas, member of the board of the Bank of Lithuania. Ms. Suhi Yutla, speaker of the conference, co-founder of MarketOrders.net and the author of three blockchain books. Fintech in four years in a row is not just a conference. It is fast growing space to find the connections, know-how and inspiration of tomorrow. Policymakers and technology leaders, startups and investors, associations and more than 3,000 participants from over 60 countries today and tomorrow will meet here to exchange knowledge, to discuss challenges and opportunities the industry has today. So now I would like to give a floor for the main organizer of the event, the man who even created new work for Lithuania and Fintech, Litechnia. My pleasure to present Mr. Vilu Shapoka, the Minister of Finance of the Republic of Lithuania. Good morning, everyone. It is a great pleasure to introduce you to the world of uh, Fintech. And this year, Fintech uh, conference is very, very special. Uh, it is the fourth conference, and I remember the first one. Uh, the first conference we had just around 100 participants. Now we have more than 100 speakers, uh, more than 3,000 participants, uh, 500 companies uh, from uh, 60 countries. So it uh, this part of, of the world. The, this year, the conference will focus on on uh, risk management in, in such areas as, uh, as uh, anti-money laundering, uh, um, uh, cyber security, consumer protection, and of course, the cutting-edge hardware and software solutions in FinTech. A very uh, impressive plethora uh, of speakers from all over the world, from the United States, to Canada, Germany, China, Brazil, and many others is expected at, at the event. This is a great opportunity not only to learn from the best, but also to connect, discover new possibilities uh, during uh, uh, the whole week. So uh, the most important question, why FinTech has chosen my country? And I have a clear answer. Apart from uh, future ready the regulatory framework, infrastructure, tax incentives, and many, many, many others, many other uh, good things, we have a unique experience of the best cooperation possible between public and private sector, Ministry of Finance, Central Bank, Ministry of Economy. Uh, a lot of other public institutions and agencies, and of course, uh, a very vibrant community uh, in, in FinTech area. So that is the key uh, to our success. What's new this year? Lithuania adopted a new FinTech action plan at the, uh, at the beginning of this year. The main focus is uh, to foster the development of fintech sector further, improving the legal environment, and increasing demand in fintech products and services, and with a particular attention on management of risks, such as money laundering, cyber security, consumer protection, and many other. Uh, when I think about fintech, I imagine speed. When I talk about FinTech, I talk about... So the magic trick is a 
you the security. So let's unlock the fintech power. To Thank you, Mr. And now it's time to hear Mr. Marius Jurgilas, member of the board of the Bank of Lithuania and one of the godfathers of fintech in Lithuania. Thank you, Raminta, for kind words. So, my actual title is board member of the Bank of Lithuania, and uh, Bank of Lithuania is an integrated financial markets regulator and one of the institutions that uh, the minister kindly uh, acknowledged that contributed to this uh, cultural change. So, what I would classify this event, it's an exposition of how the culture of innovation is changing, particularly in one very important sector in, uh, in the economy, which is finance. And uh, we just discussed with the minister uh, on, on one of the TV channels, you know, what is the, the key to the success of, uh, of that? And I said that uh, the most important thing is that we have a very appealing and convincing narrative. And what is that narrative? That narrative is that in such a not exactly big country like Lithuania, somewhere on the edge of Europe, still in Europe, uh, we managed to create a movement which is solving our own problems or challenges. And what is that challenge? We want faster, cheaper, better services for our consumers, for our businesses, and we want uh, innovations in finance to be taking place no, not in some bigger country in Asia, but here in Europe, here in Lithuania. And uh, this conference is a great example how we can create that. We did that uh, by changing some regulatory requirements. We did that by uh, improving our processes. And we did that by facilitating businesses uh, so that they can provide those services and they can grow in, in the community. And what are the results? If uh, five years ago you would go on the street and uh, say FinTech, or even say Lutechnia, um, people would have no clue what you're talking about. Right now, FinTech is a household name. And it is associated with very simple things. People want not to think about payments. People want to engage in business activity. And that's exactly what those FinTech companies are bringing to this country. They're bringing convenience. They're bringing convenience. They're bringing competition. Exactly what we wanted. We want to increase competitive pressure in our domestic market by scaling our proposition of the country that this is the country that allows you to access to all the European market and you can scale your business and grow in the same way. Another fact, if five years ago people didn't even have uh, in Lithuania contactless cards, now contactless cards are prevalent in Lithuania. Um, moving on from contactless cards, we have mobile payments. One in ten of the households in Lithuania, according to our survey, are already using mobile payments. So if in Asia everyone is using mobile payments, we in Europe here are also fast improving our infrastructure, which will enable new business models and will make those things more convenient to the consumer. A very um, simple example. Every year around Christmas, uh, there is a, a huge dis discontent in the society because you know around Christmas businesses including financial institutions uh, they go on vacation and it happens to be that uh, the payments are not moving now this year due to instant payments that we introduced in, in European Union and in this country those payments will be available 24 7 and you will be able to send your greetings as well as a, a gift in kind or in, in cash uh, using 24-7 uh, working uh, financial system. So I'll stop here. Thank you, Marius. And now I have the big pleasure to present our honorable guest, very interesting person and speaker of this conference and also co-founder of marketorders.net and author of three blockchain books, Ms. Suhi Yutla. Thank you. What an awesome introduction. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me uh, all the way from London uh, to Lithuania. It's a pleasure to be here. And what I'm so excited about is actually just um, 
seeing how um, the fintech community has really proliferated um, in Lithuania and normally in London fintech has been around for probably like a good five years so we are very much used to, to uh, understanding what fintech is almost daily there's a startup that's um, starting up in fintech so it's very very good as a business owner and entrepreneur myself to know that fintech is expanding in uh, the Baltic regions and especially in Lithuania because this also means that there's also going to be a, there is an incredible amount of tech talent and creativity in Lithuania and I think that's what really excites me because when you have your people who have the technological skills you're giving them the tools to go out there and create new propositions and new products and this I feel is really going to be like the the blood and the power that runs through Lithuania and can really make you guys a powerhouse and dare I say almost compete London to becoming fintech like the number world number one center so it's very very exciting to be here it's incredible that the conference today has thousands of people compared to just hundreds um, a few years ago so I find this very um, uh, exciting especially as an entrepreneur because this just goes to show that um, Lithuania is uh, is open it's it's receptive to new changes and like you were saying um, financial inclusion is, is incredibly important and this will just create more abundance uh, in the economy as a whole as well so it's very very um, it's very exciting to be here to be part of this journey with you all as well and I'm really excited to also be talking about how to get more women into blockchain uh, uh, and women into fintech because I feel as well fintech in its heart is inclusive and um, it's something that can touch everyone's life and um, people think that fintech is just coming I believe it's here and I think that it's going to be an incredibly increasing part of everyone's life so I think it's so important that all of us are aware of what fintech is it's also very important that we're aware of how it can affect our lives and also how we can also contribute to this global movement because it's here to stay. So thank you so much. I'm really excited to learn from you guys as well. And I hope I can also share my experience from London. Um, but one thing you've already surprised me, I didn't think I'd find somewhere colder than London. So you guys definitely surprised me. So that's great. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now, dear colleagues, journalists, it's time for your question. I will kindly ask you to present yourselves. And uh, we have... 10 minutes for question before the opening of the conference. So if you have some question, just raise hand and you will get microphone. If no, you can ask those questions also later during all the day. Uh, okay, so thank you all for the participation and let's unlock FinTech power. <laughs>